All right, welcome back, League Nighters. We are here, we're doing an experiment we've been talking about for a while. <laughs> Uh, we finally had the chance to do it. We have been wondering about the heavy bat versus light bat. It's been a controversy. It's been a topic of discussion for a long time, I think, in a lot of circles in softball. So we wanted to actually try it out, but we had not been able to get a hold of two bats that were the same bat, but heavy and light. So we mm -hmm. finally have done that. Thanks to Vince, one of our viewers, and thanks to Brandon, uh, our buddy that brings us a lots of bats. <laughs> uh, we now have 27 in load and we have a 25 five in load. So we've got a light, we've got a heavy, a uh, little bit different in handle. This is a 45, so it's a little bit stiffer. This is a 35, it's not quite as stiff, but still pretty stiff. Um, anything you want to say about these? Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about it as kind of mid-level ball players. Yeah. You know, we start to kind of look at the nuance of it as opposed to just find a bat you like, go swing it as a low level player. You're just like, you're trying to get comfortable and find a bat that you hit well with. And then you kind of take it to the next step and you say, okay, how can I make that incremental increase in my yeah. output? Um, and we've also had a few commenters and we appreciate all the feedback that we're getting where they were mentioning, hey, it looks like you guys might need to be swinging heavier bats. Yeah. So we kind of were like, well, let's, let's actually nerd out a little bit and get data that proves yeah. that swinging a heavier bat can add value. Um, so thanks for those comments. I actually, when we went to the World Series in Dallas last week, I was swinging a 26. And I felt like my performance was a lot better than my 25, just consistently. The exit velo was better, but we didn't have any statistics to prove it. Yeah. So we've got the pocket radar out here today. We got two of the exact same bats essentially with just different weights. So we should really be able to tell whether or not the weight makes a difference. All right, so let's go swing and let's get some data and we'll let you guys know. miles per hour 87 miles per hour 81 miles per hour 30 miles per hour <laughs> I think that's incorrect 77 miles per hour. That's a nice easy swing, blind drive though. 85 miles per hour. Yeah, that was a great swing. 52 bar. You can hear it. 85 miles per hour. Or again. 80 miles per hour. I think when you get it, you get it. 83 miles per hour. All right. I don't know if I've hit this many bombs with one bat before. 77 miles per hour. Okay. All right. It feels good. All right, Vince. This one's for you, buddy. 27 ounce Mazda trip in with the end load. This one has a uh, 3,500 handle stiffness, so that's the stiff. The one we were swinging, the 25.5, had the 4,500, the super stiff or the extra stiff. So we'll check out the weight differences, we'll check out the stiffness and see if it makes a difference on exit below load performance and just how it feels. 87 miles per hour. Over there, maybe see if it makes a difference. 81 miles per hour. Got that one. Woo, that was way gone. Deep. 81 miles per hour. 85 miles per hour. 80 miles per hour. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 84 miles per hour. Way gone. 80 Ooh. miles per hour. Ooh. 
Did I hit the... Shit. Yeah, but I think it hit the power line. Roof. It hit the roof and came back. 76 miles per hour. Seventy-three miles per hour. Do you have a t-shirt for a grandma or something? Right? Oh, yeah, right. She's just standing on the net. I know, now she's staring. You think she's mad? Probably. She bought the house. I would say, don't live next to the baseball field. Seventy-eight miles per hour. Hold on. You guys have bail money just in case you get arrested? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna run. What are they gonna arrest me for? <laughs> I mean if you're gonna take that strategy, I'll run too. I mean like I think my, they'll catch one of us. What's my side? Yeah, I don't know. 27. 27. It does not feel incredibly heavy, which is good. That's good. 82 miles per hour. I felt like it jumped off the bat. 87 miles per hour. I think that's my highest so far. 85 miles per hour. I can definitely feel a little bit of flex in this. 84 miles per hour. Dude, I'm definitely swinging better with this heavier bat. 81 miles per hour. I don't feel good. 83 miles per hour. Eighty-two miles per hour. Finally! Ah! Oh. Eighty-one miles per hour. Oh! Eighty-eight miles per hour. Eighty-eight. Eighty-five miles per hour. <laughs> Eighty-five miles per hour. Yeah. I can already tell you, I like this 27 a lot. I like it a lot. Glad I have one of these on order. All right, put a lot of swings on them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> both felt pretty good, but I think there's some data is gonna tell the difference here. So we haven't actually looked at the data yet, but just kind of our initial thoughts, we'll put the data on the screen here. Uh, what do you think was better for you? I gotta say the 27 felt surprisingly better yeah like yeah. i was worried that going up that heavy would be a problem but at my quick glance and that's with not even just looking at like your top 10 best swings but just looking at the average over the round that we each did with each bat and the highest exit velo it was about three to four miles per hour better both on average and max exit velo with the heavier bat which based on a lot of the feedback we've got is not surprising but it's nice to see and gives you a little bit more confidence that you might want to try exploring swinging a heavier bat. For sure. Same thing for me. 27 just, I mean, I guess I was kind of surprised, but a little bit of me thought that it might be that way. But after actually swinging, I was like, oh, wow, this is a lot better. Like, it was noticeably better. Yep. I, I was thinking it was going to be slightly better, you know, a little tweak mm -hmm. here and there, but it felt really good. Now that's not to say that this didn't because this actually felt really good. First swing in it, it felt very familiar. Um, you know, the weight, kind of a little bit of an inload, which is similar to a lot of the other monsters I swing in ASA. So I was like, it was a familiar feel to me. Um, and I did really like it, I hit the ball pretty well with it. But man, as soon as I got that 27 roll in, I was just smoking <laughs> the ball. Like it felt like just easily no, no effort. We're getting five mile an hour more off the bat, mm -hmm. almost on average. So gotta say, Heavy is the way to go for me. So now I'm going to have to think about some of my other gamers. Like, do I need to get heavier bats? Right. Do I need to start doing this? I don't know. But for right now, I 27 uh, that I've got here coming to me, it might be my new uh, U-Trip gamer. So yeah. we'll see uh, the, uh, the, the AP2 or the uh, APG2 is going to have to, might have to do a little work to get it to get right. a spot back. We'll see. So and, and the key here is you want to increase your weight but keep the same swing mechanics. Exactly. So you don't want to go from a 25 to a 28 if you can't maintain the same mechanics through the ball. Right. The moment you start going too heavy and you can't maintain those mechanics, the benefit of the weight isn't going to help as much. Right. So if you're somebody that swings a 25, 
Explorer swinging a 26. Yeah. Check it out. See how much of a difference it feels. A lot of times it's not going to feel different enough to really impact your swing. Yeah. But you may start noticing that you're going to hit the ball harder. Uh, also, one of the things that we've talked about in our batting practice 101 video, link down below, is swing heavier in BP. You want to build up that strength and that muscle memory with yeah. a heavier bat. So if you start taking that into your batting practice, maybe you swing a 27 or a 28 in BP, normally swing a 25 and you go and now you start swinging a 26 in a game. You have the same mechanics, you've built up that strength, but your exit velo is gonna go up two or three miles an hour, maybe a little bit more. You might find more distance. You might find that some of those balls that are getting caught, those extra miles an hour make a difference and they're dropping now or yeah. they're getting through a ground ball in the infield. You know, yeah. you never know, but it's definitely worth a try. You got believers in us. Yeah, yeah. I, I think moral of the story here is because again, I think we've both been kind of swinging the same bats for at least a few years now, as far as like weight and you know and all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And now we're starting to experiment with it. Go experiment. I think I think it'll help. Find a friend who's got a heavy bat. <laughs> find a friend that has an inload. If you swing balance, find a friend that's got a balance. If you swing inload, try something different. You might be surprised, and I I know we were so. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, that's it. Go swing something heavy, see what happens. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Go swing something heavy.